action. We are here to talk about the top 10 action films of the decade. And let's get on with it. We're gonna try to like zip through this video as quickly as I possibly can. Number 10, which would be 2014's The Kingsman and The Secret Circle. When this movie first came out, I was a little hesitant on it to be honest with you, but it was really fun. Uh, part two, it was fun, but it was kind of like, mm, I don't know, it had, wasn't as entertaining, I feel like, to me. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about Julianne Moore, especially she, she, since she was like chopping off people. But we're not talking about part two. What is part two even called? I don't remember. How many people gasped when you thought they were going to kill the damn dog? Um, I would not be able to kill my dog at all, so I know that I would never make it into the secret society. With that said, let's go ahead and move on with a number nine. That would be 2011's Fast Five. Of course, I'm going to have a Fast and the Furious movie in here. Pre-worn, it is my only Fast and the Furious movie that I have in my whole decade. And I feel like from the whole franchise, this actually is the best one. We're in Rio. There's car chasing, of course. It is possibly where the ridiculousness of the Fast and the Furious franchise kind of officially began. Because from here, I just felt like they just kept going over and over and over more in the top. But look out for Fast and the Furious 9. It is 9, I believe. Coming out in May 2020. Coming in 8th place would be 2015's No Escape starring Owen Wilson. This movie I think is a little bit more like on the underrated. Not many people I think know about this movie. I really quite enjoyed it. They are, it's just a family basically trying to escape when some shit happens in this other country that the people pretty much turn on them. And they're basically just trying to get out of the country. There's uh, Pierce Brosnan. I don't know. I'll put up his name here. This really kind of brings out what a family, what a parent is capable of doing to protect, you know, their own. But we're moving on to my number seven pick, and that would be 2019's Alita Battle Angel. That movie came out earlier this year. It's kind of sad that it didn't get as much recognition as it deserved. I can't remember what other movie came out with it around the same time. I'm thinking maybe Marvel did. I honestly didn't even know too much about the film until I saw it on the tier list for the best of 2019 so far and this movie was actually on a lot of people's lists. So checked it out and I really really fell in love with it. Me and my sister we think it's absolutely great. Let's go ahead and move on to my number six pick and that would be 2015 Sicario. I am a huge fan of Benito de Toro. I think he's absolutely wonderful and I think he was great in this film. I I honestly have not seen Sicario uh, part two. I can't believe I have it. And it's just kind of just been there like in my queue to watch list. Can you believe it? We have made it top five so quick. I told y'all we're gonna zip through this list. Before I give you my top five, I here are a few honorable mentions. And I know, I know a lot of you are like, really, you have Stranger Tides in your list, regardless if it's honorable mention. Yes, I do. Because Pirates of the Caribbean is my favorite franchise. Johnny Depp comes on it. That's my husband. I love him. I love him as Jack Sparrow. I had to incorporate it in here in one way or another. I don't really care that you're like, no, this does not classify as an action. Um, yes, they have it as fantasy and action. And it's my list. And it's an honorable mention. Moving right along. Coming in in fifth place would be 2012 Skyfall. Because, again... I gotta have a 007 film in my list. And I mean, in my top five, I mean, I gotta get some props for that, right? This is probably one of my favorite James Bond movies with Daniel Craig. Uh, this one and Casino Royale are possibly my favorite ones. I think this this one still comes first. Of course, look out for the new James Bond film coming out next year. This is actually going to be uh, Daniel Craig's last uh, role as the iconic Bond. James Bond. Moving right along to number four would be another 2012 a movie, End of Watch. This one starred uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Peña and it is absolutely one of my favorite movies just like overall. I've rewatched this so many times. I mean these two cops possibly have like the worst luck. It's kind of like good luck, bad luck because I mean they were accidentally finding these things that they weren't necessarily looking for and then you know kind of made them into like bigger badasses but then were like of course knocking on the wrong doors and finding the wrong bodies and then the cartel is like trying to come after them oh my god i cried yeah no i couldn't go a damn video without talking about me crying in a movie but i cried 
in 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 end of watch if y'all seen the movie y'all know where i cried let's move on coming in third place would it be 2017's logan now i have said in a couple videos that i'm not like a big superhero like comic book fanatic but i do enjoy the movies and i do still watch them if i did have to pick like a favorite like team or whatever x-men would actually be the ones that i enjoy the best logan so perfectly ended Wolverine's story and also Professor Xavier's story and I just think it was done just so wonderful I don't remember if I cried or not to be honest with you I may have shed a tear maybe I, I really don't recall so I'm gonna go with no I loved the little girl I'm very bad with names if you know just overall if you haven't caught that by now I'm very bad with names but I mean yeah she was freaking like badass I mean out of all of them she was like the little murderous little girl that she is and perfect ending to this iconic character all right we're here top two coming in second place would be 2015's Mad Max Fury Road you guys you, you Come on, give me give me credit. Give me credit. This movie, of course, had to be on my list. It did. Honestly, though, it had done this a few years ago, like when the movie first came out. Honestly, it would not have been on my list. This is a movie that I had to see maybe like three to four times before I officially started to appreciate it. I was i just didn't get it i was just like i i don't know this is weird i couldn't get over that guy in the guitar like just kind of like hanging now to be honest he's kind of one of my favorite things from there i mean he's literally jamming out while they're doing all this chasing and he's just like mm, you know I mean, it's cool and then we get like hot ass tom hardy with like this mask and he's just like i don't know but it took me a minute and i was here for it Charlie Strong, amazing. Wives, I mean, not so much damsel in distress, not worth it. I mean, they, they held their own. I mean, especially Zoe Kravitz. Quite honestly, if it wasn't for Desiree, I probably wouldn't even be on my list. She just really loved this movie and she would always rewatch it. So I'm very glad that I gave it an opportunity. Now, I know a lot of y'all possibly have Mad Max as your number one pick for the decade. And I really kind of was like between this one and the one that it is in my first place. But I just really, 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 really love what I have in my first. But if you want to call what I'm doing being a cheater, then you know you go for it. But you know, I don't care. I'm doing it at this point. Now that you're watching it, it's been done. But my number one pick would be John Wick Part 1 and Part 2. That is right just part one and two i was not a fan of part three to be honest i was very very disappointed in it yes it does have awesome stunt work yes i am not going to deny it but it has too many choreographed stunt work there i go again talking about another movie that's not technically on my list let's get back to part one and part two i'm not going to lie i got into the bandwagon that is john wick shortly after part two came out i couldn't get past the concept of the movie to be honest with you i just couldn't really wrap my mind around you murdered all these people because they killed your dog because i mean that's what i was getting from from the trailer and i just kept hearing such great great amazing things about it part two came out and i even heard more great things about it and i was like you know what i think this movie has something for it part one i was like wow got part two and i'm just like wow he killed somebody with a freaking like pencil like who does that john wick does that, that that's that's who Part one, one of my favorite scenes, honestly, and it's like a really like simple scene, was when the cop came over and was all like noise complaints and oh, are you back at work? Literally sees sees the bodies like you know down down his hallway. Does it better not? You know, mad respect for that cop because he he's like no, like I'm not gonna fuck with John Wick. Like psh. in part two, you know, he of course had to go get his car back because why wouldn't he get his car back? Plus he got to get a new dog in part two. Wait, no, he got him in part one lies wait yes yes at the end of part one he got a new dog a really pretty pet bull so cute anyway a lot of these movies have been out forever and a day alita is the only one that was out this year but 
I didn't really get too much into it. This is what I considered the top 10 best action films of the decade. Now, I don't want to hear people saying your list is wrong, Stephanie, because my list is not wrong. So again, this is my list and what I consider the best. Now, I'm not going to say that your list is wrong because again, that's your list, your opinion. Everybody has different ones. Film is very subjective. Let's not be ugly or nasty in the comment section below. Just share, you know, what you consider to be the best of the decade. Before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!